Alright, so uh, in the second lab, uh, so we are going to uh, see how we can uh, make a cycle pi five for speech uh, for a speech perception task. Of course, we are dealing with a pictured version of the task. So just uh, as a review in speech perception task. You should show them a picture page, and then um, they should hear a word, and uh, finally they should press uh, one of the keys on the keyboard. And this repeats for, uh, I mean, a set of trials, for example, 20, 40, 50, whatever. And of course, you should add instruction at the beginning. Uh, thank you or end message at the end. So let's see how we can make it. All right, so here in this uh, lecture, I'm going to tell you what a sample routine is in a speech perception task. Uh, how uh, should we make an input file? And uh, at the end, how to put them together in a sample cycle file. All right, uh, a sample routine. Uh, so, as I said, each routine consists of a set of activities. So, the first activity, the picture pair should be displayed on the screen. We know how to do it. We will do it, of course, together. After some time, the audio file should be played while the picture remains on the screen. So we should have the picture on the screen. At the same time, uh, the audio should be played. We know how to do it. And uh, then participants press one of the labeled keys, for example, Z or M, P or Q on the keyboard. These are the only al allowed keys. So this is our uh, routine, and then uh, what we need to do is to define a loop to repeat this routine for other uh, trials as well. So uh, what about the input file? So as, as I said, it should definitely start with an index column item number and item type column. So uh, as I said, for you, index column and item number columns uh, are the same. Uh, item type, I mean, whether it is filler item, experimental item, and uh, for picture pairs, we definitely need a column. Let's call it pictures. Okay, and then we should put the uh, uh, name of the files under this column. For example, uh, sheep underscore ship dot jpeg, uh, bear underscore lion dot jpeg, whatever. And then for the audio file, similarly, we need a column. Let's call it audio. Uh, so one dot uh, wave, two dot wave, whatever. And what else? So as I said in uh, the first lab, uh, uh, you can include uh, all detailed information uh, in the input file. So if you uh, need more information about the uh, filler type or uh, even the type of experimental item, for example, whether it is a critical item, whether it is a control item, you can uh, uh, put them, you can insert them uh, in separate columns, but you should remember that uh, uh, no space is allowed in the header row, so you should be careful about that. Uh, you should label the columns appropriately uh, so that in later time you can um, uh, you, you understand uh, what they mean. And then you should uh, include whatever information you think in the column. 
All right, let's go to the PsychoPy 5. So in the PsychoPy, uh, the first step is to insert a picture. We want to display a picture on the screen. So in the Builder view, uh, you uh, come to the component section and you click on the picture icon. And then uh, you should name it clearly so let me just uh, shift into full screen mode all right so you should uh, call it a name call this activity a name uh, let's call it image and then uh, so I think uh, this uh, circle should be here in the start section so it should display from the very beginning so uh, the start time is zero and then the stop is condition because uh, when they press the uh, P or Q button on the keyboard, uh, it should end. All right. So and these are just some default uh, <coughs> values. So uh, the position is on the center of the screen, the size uh, and uh, yeah, the units. So do not change these and uh, just click on the OK. All right. And then next step is to uh, insert an audio. So you click on the audio icon uh, in the component section. You should name it. Let's call it sound. And then uh, you can start it from the very beginning, but usually uh, in the speech perception tasks, they do not start the audio from the very beginning. And th the reason is very clear because uh, they let participants uh, see the picture first for a very short time, maybe one or two seconds, uh, just to make their eyes familiar with the pictures and then start the audio uh, so they start you can start it from the very beginning as I have and then the stop uh, you can leave it blank uh, so if you leave it blank then the audio uh, uh, continues uh, to its duration and then you click on OK all right so now we have our audio in the correct order after showing the picture. Now we should uh, get the input from participants. So this time you click on the keyboard icon in the component section. Uh, we name it uh, as we like, response for example. Again, we can um, start from the very beginning. We can let participants press the key from the very beginning, but sometimes you don't want participants to uh, just press the button from the very beginning, maybe after some seconds. So you can give them, give it a value. And then stop condition because they should press uh, one of the keys to end the routine. And then uh, as soon as they press the, one of the uh, keys on the keyboard the routine should end so you should click this box and then what are the allowed keys so here I have defined Z and M you can uh, define whatever you like but they should be far enough from each other and then we definitely need to store the key so the last key uh, and then uh, here uh, if you have a correct response column, uh, then you should click this icon, store correct. But as I said, in speech perception task, because it's just a matter of selecting the categories, uh, there is no true or false answer. That's why uh, we don't usually click this store correct button. But uh, in some other cases, uh, if you have correct, a uh, true or false answer, uh, 
uh, you should click this button and then uh, here where is the correct answer you should define it in your excel file uh, just uh, put the label here put the header uh, name here for example i have called it correct response but for speech perception task we don't usually need all right and then uh, yeah so uh, as i said uh, you must be able to add the instruction and end message so uh, do the i mean uh, make a sample psychopi file add the instruction and end message to it and sometimes it is uh, a good idea uh, to let participants see the picture pair for a very short time, for example, one second, and then listen to the audio. And the reason, uh, as I said, is that uh, we should make them uh, familiar with the picture first and then let them uh, uh, listen to the audio. Uh, because we are going to measure their linguistic knowledge. Uh, let's say if we play the audio from the very beginning, maybe uh, the very first moments, for example, the first milliseconds, uh, their brain is not uh, analyzing uh, the context linguistically. Maybe their brain is just analyzing the pictures uh, that's why we don't want we, we want to filter out this very short amount of time uh, because of that we uh, play the audio after very short time maybe after one or two seconds all right so you can make mm, changes to your psychopi file and also it is a good idea to make participants fix their looks to the center of the screen before displaying the picture pair and um, uh, this is done because again we want to make their eyes uh, used to the uh, screen i mean laptop or monitor screen uh, we want them to focus on the center of the screen and then we show them a picture on the center of the screen again so if we don't do this they might be looking on the corners and then suddenly when we show them a picture in the center of the screen their eyes uh, might come to the center of the screen and this takes time again uh, maybe some milliseconds when your eyes move from the corner of the screen to the center of the screen uh, because we want to filter out this uh, or remove this uh, very short amount of time we usually fixate their looks to the center of the screen and then we show them the picture and then after some uh, very short time uh, we play them the audio in this way uh, we make sure that their answer is completely linguistic. Uh, I mean, based on their linguistic knowledge. So this is done through just uh, showing them a plus sign on the center of the screen. All right. So you know how to do it. So please do do that. Add an activity. Uh, before showing the picture in your routine and then send me the psychopi file or uh, discuss the issue with me uh, yeah and uh, I told you the reasons why we uh, uh, put a sign a plus sign in the center of the screen or why we don't like to start the audio file from the very beginning uh, but you can review uh, the reasons again uh, by yourselves all right that's it thank you and uh, in next uh, lecture i will 
uh, try to explain some more stuff.